hello I'd like to officially welcome you to this video and again welcome back to Chloe's flight videos today we'll be flying in Air New Zealand premium economy you might notice yes I'm in the bathroom and I'm in a bathroom at the Maple Leaf Lounge here in Vancouver I caught a plane from Nelson to Vancouver and I have indeed been in the airport for nine hours this lounge by the way is so nice one of the nicer Maple Leaf lounges that I've ever been in and I've been in like three cocktail list miles long. A whole page dedicated to just martinis. Made the most of the free food, coffee and drinks in this lounge and now I'm making the most of the shower suite. There was actually a rather long line for the shower suites today so I wasn't super sure if I'd get to make use of these but luckily it's still about an hour and a half before boarding and I've been called in. So here it is. Oh yeah, and I always forget this part. If you could please, pretty please, give this video a like if you're enjoying it, or even at the end if you enjoy it after. Maybe you wanna watch it before you decide if you enjoy it or not, but I think it probably deserves a thumbs up and you should definitely do that now or in a few minutes time. Also, give us a subscribe because not only do we create all of these really cool flight videos, we also make a bunch of fun videos on cruise ships, trains, road trips, camper vans, you name it. You'll find a lot of fun and interesting ideas to do for your travels on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe and continue watching. Thank you. That was absolutely glorious. It's only my second time having a shower at the airport and I must say, I'm 100% addicted. All right, feeling fresh? I think I've got 39 minutes to go and get a second cocktail and then I am ready to experience my first ever premium economy with Air New Zealand. <laughs> Espresso martini. I'm feeling a little bit wobbly, I'm not gonna lie, but I am absolutely making the most of free cocktails in a lounge if there are free cocktails. You betcha. <sighs> On my way to board my flight. I'm a little bit out of breath. This airport is massive. Here we go. Free room economy. <laughs> Welcome to Air New Zealand Premium Economy. The first thing I have to address is the lighting in here. Air New Zealand always nails the ambience in their cabins and I absolutely love the purple vibe. They also have the same vibe happening in their Auckland International Lounge too. Spoiler alert, I may visit this lounge on my way back to Canada, so stay tuned for this very exciting video. The premium economy section of this plane was actually super tiny and it was a 232 configuration. I specifically chose this seat while checking in online as I saw there was no one beside me, so I'd have the whole back row to myself. I thought I'm gonna lift the armrests and lay down to get a super good sleep. However, it didn't occur to me that there would be solid armrests between the seats, which is really nice, but just means that it's pretty much no point in getting a row to myself. So that's something to take into consideration if you're thinking the same way. I did, however, love these large seats and the whole space felt huge compared to economy. I've only ever flown in premium economy once before with Singapore Airlines, but I completely forgot how much space you have. Oh, and would you look at this? My name is on the screen. How cool. Waiting on my seat for me were some fancy looking headphones, an amenity kit, which we'll take a look at later, don't you worry, a menu, a blanket, a lovely squishy pillow, and naturally the first thing I did was peruse at my menu. Although I did actually pre-order a vegetarian meal, it was still fun to see what kind of options were available in premium economy. I thought it was pretty cool as well that the menu had displayed the Maori word for each meal as well. P.S. Stay tuned to the end of my video to find out exactly how I flew premium economy and how much it cost me. I checked out my fancy headphones and this was definitely a step above the flimsy little ones we usually get out the back. I then moved on to my next most important task and that was selecting my first movie for the flight. And bam, perfect flight viewing material right here. Luckily, I had no one next to me or things could get awkward. Suddenly, we were served a warm towelette. Absolutely spoiled already up here, I say. Okay, I think it's time to take a look into this amenity kit. 
I love that the packet was made of thick brown paper. It looked and felt very environmentally friendly and I feel like that really represents New Zealand and the airline well. The first thing I pull out were some lush long socks in a super funky colour, a wooden toothbrush with a paper cover, earplugs and a wooden pen. Again sticking with that sustainable eco-friendly theme. There was some beautiful hand and body cream and a little toothpaste which I always get excited about. I noticed we weren't given an eye mask but I luckily brought mine along from a previous flight. A good hour into my flight and about halfway through Channing Tatum's wonderful dancing, it was time for our pre-dinner drink. Concealed inside these solid armrests are our tables that easily fold out like this. The flight attendants were handing out all sorts of goodies but I opted for a classic Pinot Noir. And of course all of the wines on board are very proudly New Zealand wines, some of the best in the world I would say. Shortly after I was served my special vegetarian dinner, I had a lovely platter of grilled veggies, a warm bread roll with butter, a cute little olive oil and a veggie lasagna with more veggies on the side and a dessert that looked like banana bread with some sort of fruity custard. This meal was yummy but I must say pretty average. I am very excited to see what their business class meals are like. I definitely like how healthy it appeared though. During the flight there were lots of snacks and drinks available for free and as much as I was looking forward to ordering some mid-flight chips, I surprisingly ended up sleeping really well. A solid 6 hours in fact. Although it is still awkward to sleep upright, premium economy definitely makes it more possible to get some quality rest. The seat is so much wider and I literally had to lean forward to reach my TV screen, meaning there was plenty of room to stretch out. We also had these nifty little leg rests that really helped to create a more comfortable snooze. A few hours before landing we were served yet another warm towelette and following this was breakfast, which again I was given my requested vegetarian meal but some of the other options looked really great too. My breakfast consisted of a fresh fruit pottle, a muffin, a bread roll and my main meal was scrambled eggs with mushrooms, spinach and tomatoes. After serving the meal I love how the crew walked around with a fresh bread basket offering up all sorts of baked goods. I chose the croissant of course, I was not expecting this to be so delicious, it was warm and perfect and my favourite part of breakfast. I opted for a nice strong black coffee which the flight attendants came around to refill multiple times and I'm happy to report this coffee did not disappoint. We're just about to commence our descent into Auckland. At this stage uh, touching down 37 minutes past 5 in the morning. Oh, and uh, at this point I haven't even mentioned why I'm travelling to New Zealand. Well, my dad was turning 70 and I was kind of stuck on what to get him for such a special birthday. So naturally I decided to fly to New Zealand and back for one week just to surprise him. And he was definitely surprised. <laughs> Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I will talk a little bit about how much this flight cost me and how I booked it. Originally when looking into booking this really quick little flight to New Zealand, I was pretty keen to not fly in economy. Without sounding totally spoiled, in my defence, I have just come off two incredible long haul business class trips for my very first time, both in United Polaris and Air Canada. Oh, and uh, 
I did not pay full price for both of these trips, I might add. So if you want to watch a cool experience and learn about how you can do this too for a way smaller price than you'd normally pay, then go ahead and watch those two videos after this video. After getting such a high flying in luxury like that, I cannot bear the thought of flying in economy again. Although I know that that's what the rest of my life is probably going to look like. But for fun, I decided to look at how much premium economy and business class to Auckland would be from Vancouver. After having a little glance at uh, both of these options, I decided this was not going to be happening unfortunately. Way too expensive. And then I remembered that Air New Zealand offers something called a one-up upgrade. It's like a last minute bid that probably a lot of airlines do, but you bid to upgrade to go up one level. So if you're in economy, you can bid to upgrade to go up to premium. If you're in premium economy, you can bid to upgrade to move on to business. So I booked my economy flight at this price here in Canadian dollars or this price here in New Zealand dollars. And right after booking, I requested a one up upgrade. This is such a mouthful, one up upgrade. But the nice thing is, is that you don't necessarily have to use real money. I was able to use my Air New Zealand AirPoints dollars. Luckily I had a bunch stashed away as I used my American Express to pay for like everything. And I bid to upgrade $795 Canadian. Airpoints dollars that is. And this may be a lot or a little depending on how you look at it. And with flight bids to upgrade, you never really know what to bid. It does give you a little bit of an indication when you're going for the bid, but you never know whether you're gonna bid way too little and miss out on the upgrade or bid way too much when you could have actually got away with way less. It's just no way to know. And it's probably changing all the time for every single flight, depending on how many seats they have left to upgrade and loads of different factors. And although I booked this flight like three months in advance and bid it to upgrade straight away, you don't actually find out whether this upgrade was accepted until about three days before. So it really is a waiting game. And if you add what I paid for the flight originally and add my AirPoints dollars that I upgraded with, it does still come to around 2000 Canadian. But if you take a look at how expensive a one-way flight from Vancouver to Auckland is in premium economy outright, it's so expensive. Hence why I didn't book it in the first place. And I still saved around $1,000. So I think that was definitely worth it to have a little bit more comfort. As you saw, it was so much more spacious and comfortable and relaxing than economy and I actually got a really good sleep I think the food was a little bit nicer it was a cool experience and I'm glad I didn't have to sit in economy yeah. along with my upgrade I noticed that my luggage allowance was bumped up to two pieces of checked luggage instead of just one along with premium everything as you can see just here I did notice however that premium economy didn't actually give you access to a lounge or that's what it said on the Air New Zealand website anyway but since I recently hit Star Alliance Gold unexpectedly and very unintentionally I might add I have free lounge access for a whole year as long as I hold on to gold status so if you like a little bit of risk and you have a little bit of extra cash or air points to upgrade last minute, I definitely recommend trying an Air New Zealand 1UP upgrade to just enhance your trip a little. Premium economy is a really nice middle ground to just get a little bit more luxury and tolerate a long haul flight that little bit better. If you have any questions or feedback or anything at all, leave me a comment down below. I reply to every single one of them. And most importantly, you are gonna really want to subscribe and hit that bell notification because you're not gonna wanna miss next week's video. I fly in an even more luxurious seat than this one. That's right, I'm flying in, in New Zealand business class. And, little hint, I got it for a ridiculously good deal but you'll have to wait till next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And lastly, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm actually assuming if you've stayed this long, you've probably enjoyed it. So it's definitely worth a thumbs up, I'd say. Just a little click from you, it really helps our channel. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.